Hey there, it's Chanel here from The Heart and Soul with your weekly oracle card reading for February 25th through March 3rd, 2018. Um, strangely, I've been drawn to this Butterfly Oracle card deck again. Uh, it does say they're for life changes and I know that's how it was happening right now for so many people. Um, and I'm sure that's why I keep being drawn to them, but it's still strange. I often don't use the same deck so many weeks in a row. So I pulled card number one. We're going to grab two more just to see what the energy is up for the week. Hopefully it's shifting and getting a little lighter. Everybody has had enough of the heaviness. All right. Our first card is spiritual growth. I'm pretty sure we've pulled this one already. Um, our second card is keep the faith. The message seems to be kind of repeating from previous weeks. And our last card is finances. It feels like this last card, the finances card, it's something that's weighing on a lot of people's minds right now. I'm not sure exactly where that falls. I think a bit of it is that piece of stepping into um, what you really want to do in life and can that financially support you. Sometimes our dream jobs financially don't uh, cover the bills the same way our corporate jobs or are more reasonable or I don't know how you put it. Sometimes those jobs we take for the paycheck. Um, so I think that's really resonating for people right now. A lot of people have had a lot of heaviness over the last few weeks and it's not quite cleared out yet. Uh, again, we still have some major life changes. Not all the steps have fallen into place yet for things to really shift and change. For some of you, that's just simply divine timing. For others of you, it's not doing the work that needs to be done to be able to take those steps forward. So really paying attention to what needs to be done right now, what, listening to your heart and soul, and what has to happen to be able to take those next steps forward. It is really, really important again, and we keep on saying this over and over again, they keep reiterating it, that it is really important to listen, to slow down and listen. Don't get caught up in the muck and the heaviness. Don't get, you know, so anxious that you're trying to go around and get through a whole nother way. You need to take the path that is being laid out for you. And the universe is going to push you along that path. Even if you try to divert from it, it's going to push you back again. So taking the time to listen will help you flow through things with a lot more ease and grace than pushing against it and trying to, you know, step inside that box again. We want to step out of it and really go with the flow instead. So they're saying it just hold on um, another week or so. It's coming to an end for some sooner than others. Again, it's that piece of how much work have you done to get past where you are right now. The universe is heavy, the energy and the tests are heavy right now. So really pay attention. You know, say no when you need to say no. Say yes when you need to say yes. Take a leap of faith when it feels like the right thing to do. Don't do it just because, you know, it's there in front of you. Do something because it feels like the right thing to do. All right. So keep connecting into that heart and soul, listening to the messages from the universe and from spirit to keep moving things ahead and moving things forward. From my heart and soul to yours, have a wonderful week.